Hello and welcome everybody. Randy replay. Oh boy. I gotta stop revving my engines. Randy replay back at it again in Minnesota Vikings football. Regular season variety is back on the air online and you guessed it all across the SSN. The Minnesota Vikings will host the Tampa Bay Bucks led by Baker Mayfield here this afternoon. A couple good defenders uh, in the linebacking core for them as well. But uh, first, let's meet your 2023-2024 Minnesota Vikings. The cuts have been made. Your quarterbacks are Kirk Cousins, Trey Lance, and Jaron Hall. The uh, team uh, got rid of Nick Mullins right before their last game, and Jaron Hall got the whole thing. It was enough to keep a spot on the roster. Running backs are Alexander Madison, Kenne Wangwu, and Dwayne McBride. Of course, Ty Chandler did make the practice squad. They think Dwayne McBride did more. In the passing game, the blocking game, stuff that isn't going to show up on the running back stat column. Excuse me. Fullback CJ Ham. Wide receivers, no surprise here. Justin Jefferson, Cordero Patterson, KJ Osborne, and Jordan Addison. Where it gets interesting after that, Jalen Naylor, uh, Tristan Jackson, and Blake Prowell. Uh, the team also has Austin Prowell. Yes, the brother of Blake, the son of Ricky, on the practice squad as well as <clears throat> a few others. But um, these are your wide receivers for the 2023-2024 season. Tristan Jackson having the best Um preseason of any wide receiver on the squad that played now of course he's not going to outshadow jj but my heavens what a preseason before tristian uh jackson tight ends tj hawkinson josh oliver and johnny munt everybody else is either on the practice squad or gone left tackle christian derisa into christian deloro but we are being told that he will be released once he is back from injury, freeing um, almost a million in the cap. Left guard is Ezra Cleveland. Centers, Garrett Bradbury, Austin Schlotman. Right guard, Ben Jones, into and Ingram. And then Brian O'Neill into Blake Brandell there on the right tackle spot. Left end, DJ Wanham into Asezi Otamawa. Right end, Patrick Jones, Jonathan Buller. Defensive tackles are Harrison Phillips, Kyrus Tonga, and James Lynch. Left outside linebacker Daniel Hunter into Luigi Villain. Middle linebackers Jordan Hicks, Brian Osamoa, Troy Dye, and Ivan Pace Jr. The standout rookie there. Uh, undrafted, rather. Uh, right outside linebacker is Marcus Davenport and uh, Andre Corder. Another undrafted rookie from Army. The cornerbacks this season are Byron Murphy, Jawan Williams, Andrew Booth, Makai Blackman, Jay Ward, and Kalen Barnes. The free safeties, Lewisine Cam Bynum. Strong safeties, Harrison Smith, Josh Metellus. Kicker is Greg Joseph. Punter is Ryan Wright. And the draft picks are as follows. We get one in the fourth. Uh one in the one in the first, sorry. One in the fourth, fifth, uh, a couple sixes. We traded Brandon Powell to New England for a sixth. So uh three sixes, two sevens. So Minnesota without a second and third draft selection. And then the practice squad, a practice squad, sorry, is as follows. Kelvin Joseph, a Caleb Evans, Ty Chandler, Theo Jackson, Tay Gowan, Jaqueline Roy, Nick Muse, Ben Sims, Travis Dye, Benton Whitley, Alan Alley, and Jeremy Banks. So that is what... Your 2023-2024 Minnesota Vikings rosters look like. Many players that uh, had a good preseason are still in the system. And uh, before we do get you out to kickoff, we're going to take a look at the injury report. And it's just Christian DeLauro. So he has one more week until his pending release from the team freeing up a roster spot. And for these visiting Bucks, hashtag must be nice. No injuries to speak of. Well, it's like Christmas Eve. You're waiting for that strike of midnight from the clock to see Santa Claus. But uh, it's the NFL season. 
and kickoff <laughs> is next. Do you smell that? Yes, indeed. That is the beautiful, beautiful whiff of NFL kickoff weekend. Football is back, ladies and gentlemen, and that means your Minnesota Vikings are back today. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers are being welcomed in and a live look in. They're down in the tunnel. Kirk Cousins leads them out. Of course, the Minnesota Vikings wearing their 1970s throwback jerseys, paying homage to Fran Tarkington and all of the other guys that paved the way to have the success of defending the North. Here we go. Minnesota, tall task. Everybody's out there. And Cordero Patterson's getting ready. Number 14 there, center of your screen. Minnesota has won the toss, have elected to receive, and Greg Joseph ready to kick us off underway. And the 2023-2024 season, as Greg Joseph's approach is boomed away, it is in the air. And ah, what a great feeling. The regular season is here. Preseason's over, cuts have been made, and out comes the May <laughs> field. He's uh, got some fans in the sands, apparently. Here are some of the measurables for Baker Mayfield. These will be filled in with the stats as the year goes on, but we don't really have anything to go off of, so we go off of measurables as given by the NFL. Oh, snap. Block says Mayfield will throw left side wide open. And Mayfield will complete his first pass of the season to Gage Jr. Oh, boy. So Russell Gage Jr., a little shoving match with Brian Osamoa. At least the starters. There's a toss. A give, and that will be Brian Osamoa bringing down White. Run to the left just goes for a little bit. Is Minnesota good start so far? Baker Mayfield in the gun. He wants to throw. He throws left side. It is caught. Shoved out of bounds. Brian Asamoah. Russell Gage Jr. left side. And it'll be our first third and four of the new season. Minnesota drops to Neil Hunter in coverage right side. Baker Mayfield's got a play drawn up. Gets the snap. Wants to throw. Throws it. Big hits come in, but it'll be held on to. And Otten. Make the catch for the first down. Minnesota's right there. I don't know how you play that any better. And, uh, oh boy. Mayfield from the pistol now. It's a turn. It's a gift to White again. And White's just going to have another 12-yard carry. Harrison Smith in there on the tackle. Slow to get up. Needs some help. He says that's my bad. Rightfully so. And here we go. It's another run for White. Right side this time. And uh, my heavens, he's just running all over the Minnesota Vikings defense down to the 15. Big gain of 20. And so Minnesota, you got to figure out what to do about this run game, and you got to figure it out now. Mayfield to throw. Mayfield flush. He throws cross formation, cross the field. Davenport will make the tackle. It's a no-gainer. Durham on the catch. There's a <laughs> backup quarterback having some fun. Mayfield under center. Gets the snap. It is a play action. Mayfield will escape. He'll throw it away despite having green grass in front of him. And now it's a big third and ten for the Minnesota defense. So a big third and ten. Mayfield from the gun. Yes, the snap. It's a give. White, middle, white. Not going to get there. And we have a fourth down upcoming. And they're going to go for it. The Bucks are going to go for it. And so the turn, the give to White. He, well, there is a flag. Hold on for now. It's a first down. 
holding offense. Holding on the offense. So the first down negated. That'll be fourth and 11. Still fourth down. And they will send out the field goal kicker. This right down Broadway, right down the middle. Put him up 3 nothing. Snap spot kick. It is good. 3 nothing. Bucks. Minnesota's defense holds there at the end of the drive and only allows three. At a second, and out comes Kirk Cousins. The team that has not seen the field together as a unit since last season. Other than practice. Here's Kirk Cousins measurables. And, uh, oh boy. So your first taste of the Minnesota Vikings 2023-2024 offense. Kirk Cousins will talk to the offensive line. Under center in the I formation. Gets the snap. Throws. Left side for JJ. He's just going to get about a yard. They'll give him two. It's a quick no huddle. So Cousins moving some pieces around. It's another pass play. Throws it up. Incomplete. And that'll be third and eight now. Kirk Cousins in the empty set. He'll motion JJ just for a little bit. Cousins gets the snap. It's a quick throw caught. Cordero Patterson falls ahead for the first down, but he's injured. Cordero Patterson is injured. He gets up. He appears to be fine, but that left ankle's bothering him. Oh, boy. So Cordero Patterson exits the game on his first catch of the season and the first first down conversion. Cousins from the gun. Give Madison. Going to fall ahead for three. Devin White on the tackle. Cousins from the gun. Gets the snap. Throws it for JJ incomplete. Oh boy. Just threw a little bit in front of him and it's a hip bursistis. He'll return soon. So he'll be kept in from what we told. He's back out there now. Cousins from the gun. Gets the snap. Goes back to Patterson. Caught first down. So Cordero Patterson, welcome back to Minnesota. Brand new number. He's two catches, both for a first down in this one. Oh boy, you love to see it. So Cordero and Cousins, we don't know if they got any work in during the offseason, but oh my heavens, are they firing on all cylinders. It's Madison up the middle for four. No Dalvin Cook. He is gone. And so uh, he's been shipped off to New York uh, out of free agency. And so Minnesota's operating with Alexander Madison, fifth year guy on the team. Cousins from the gun. It's another run to the aforementioned Madison. Cuts it inside, falls ahead, almost first down yardage. It's quickly third and two now. Golston on the tackle, and we'll see if Minnesota has it in them again to get another first down conversion. We'll take a peek. Cousins from the gun. Gets the snap. Quick throw. It is Patterson again. Patterson again open, and another first down. Winfield Jr. on the tackle. His father played here. Many, many years ago. But my heavens. Cordero Patterson, three catches. The three first downs. And the Vikings will go back to Madison. Trying to gain the edge, he won't. It'll be a loss of one for Alexander Madison. And we'll see what Minnesota wants to do here. Kirk Cousins under center. He corrals the snap. Throws for KJ Osborne, but it's batted away, separated from the ball. 
and uh now you got the big decision to make If you are the Minnesota Vikings, it's third and 11. Let's see what Vikings want to do. Kirk Cousins in the gun, gets the snap. And he doesn't throw the ball. Kirk Cousins will hold on to it, take the sack, and the Bucks will force a punt. Shaquille Barrett getting back there. Oh boy. And here comes Ryan Wright in to punt for the first time in his season. Boots away, angling. Very nicely, but it will land in the end zone. So both teams had a chance with the ball. Minnesota took a lot of time off the clock, but uh, could not get points on the board. And this will bring up third and nine for Baker Mayfield and the Bucks. So third and nine. Here we go. Mayfield barking out orders. The snap is corralled, looking to throw. Flushed. Mayfield throws wide open, end zone separated from the ball. Oh my goodness. Oh my heavens, big hit to Otten by Byron Murphy and that will force a field goal attempt left hash. This will be about a 21 yarder. The snap spot kick. It is good. Six nothing bucks. Ooh, Harrison Smith almost got there. Kirk is looking out to the right side. Oh, it's intercepted. He had a man wide open, but he threw it underneath. And Kirk Cousins will be the victim of a pick six. Alexander Madison was all by his lonesome. Ryan Neal faded that way and Cousins couldn't get it over Neil oh my heavens there was nobody on Alexander Madison this would have been a touchdown but it's a pick six instead and this to make it 13 nothing Tampa Bay and the snap spot kick it's good 13 nothing Mayfield under center now gets the snap it's a play action. He's going to look to throw. It's incomplete. Incomplete left side. That'll bring up third and seven. We'll see what Minnesota wants to do here. Third and seven. Upcoming. Mayfield from the gun. Gets the snap. Throws deep. It is intercepted by Andrew Booth, and that is what the kids would call a 15% user. Andrew Booth Jr. gets the first pick on the year for the Minnesota Vikings, giving them the ball back on the Buccaneer side of the field. Andrew Booth Jr. with the undercut of the game so far. Oh my heavens. Tasked with going up against the tall Evans and Minnesota gets the ball back. My heavens, what a play. So a big loss on the play. Oh boy. Now Cousins from the gun gets the snap. Throws it. Intercepted. Going for JJ again. And uh, Minnesota just can't do anything as the quarter expires. It's 13-0 couple interceptions from Cousins. Oh boy, he's feeling the rust. End of one. Moving the ball down the field effectively are the Bucks. Mayfield from the gun. Snap Corral. Looking. Uh, throwing. Caught. Missed. Tackle again. And Otten is in the end zone. A diving tackle by Harrison Smith and Cade Otten will score. And so this will put him up 21. Nothing pending the kick right over the head of Daniil Hunter, who was out there in coverage. Oh, boy. A 20 nothing rather, if this is good. The snap spot kick. It's good. It's throwing it back to the days of old. Kirk Cousins from the gun. Moving out with some momentum. It's the snap. Throws up for... Picked. Oh, boy. 
Up for KJ near the end zone. And I mean, oh boy. And so first down Bucks. Mayfield under center. White's the back. The give to the white. Oh my goodness. And he'll go for six. And uh, oh boy. It's Rashad White. And this keeps getting worse. Bad angles, missed tackles, and um, he, he will score. Oh, boy. And this to make it 27-0. Snap spot kick. E it's good. 27 nothing Bucks. Silencing the ones uh, fired up. U.S. Bank Stadium. So press coverage. Mayfield under center. It's the snap, and it's DJ Wanham getting a sack. He'll pose for the camera. <laughs> so there's something to cheer about. And Minnesota's first sack in the 2023-2024 campaign goes by way of DJ Wanham. Fourth and six. This will force a field goal attempt. Right hash. Make it 30 to nothing. Kick is a, away and it's good. My goodness, has this game gotten out of hand? Oh boy. The, the run game has been abandoned, it seems. Uh, Cousins will throw again. It's the snap through. Oh my God, bro. A big. McCollum with a jumping. I don't know. It's another pick. There's Mayfield again. Give to White. Dancing around in the backfield. Missed tackle. Touchdown, White. Rashad White again. And uh, you've seen better defense from the second and third stringers against the first here in the preseason. This to make it 37 0. The snap spot kick. It's good. Hear the booze coming down once again, and uh, rightfully so. Cousins from the gun. It's the snap. Throws. Intercepted again. The fifth pick for Kirk Cousins. I mean, wh where is the prowess for these wide receivers? They're just sitting behind. Oh, my goodness. Either way. Another pick, and uh, Buccaneers will win this game. I formation. It's a toss left. White gets tripped up by Asamoa. It'll force another field goal opportunity. Missed to make it 40 to nothing. Middle of the field. The 47 yarder is good. Called in motion, and uh, oh, oh boy, a scary scene. Three minutes left to go in the half. Minnesota with the ball, looking, throwing, picked. Oh my gosh, another interception. And Garrett Bradbury, the guy who made the tackle, goes down. His left, sh his left arm is dead, and uh, oh boy. We'll give him some claps, but what does Minnesota have to do to get a, a completed pass? This is insane. Six first half picks for Kirk Cousins. Davenport bringing down White behind the line to gain. Loss of three. We'll do the little butterfly celebrating down 40. That's nice. Torn labrum for Bradbury. No gain. Third and 13. So two minute warning coming up here already. Mayfield from the gun. Snaps it before the two-minute warning. Gets the throw in the middle, and it's Asamoa. Brian Asamoa with a pick. And they are booing. The fans here are booing. It's like, we don't care. We just want to see a touchdown on the board. <laughs> so Minnesota with the ball back. Kirk Cousins from the shotgun gets the snap. Throws it out of bounds. The snap is Corral. Big throw middle. And uh, they're within field goal range. We'll see if they do anything. No, they will let the clock expire. So that is, you know, they'll take a timeout. 
And so a timeout taken by the Bucks. And they'll try a long field goal. A 65 yarder left hash. Kick is away. And it goes wide right. And so no good to end the first half. Oh my heavens. Not the way we wanted this to go. 40 to nothing at the halfway mark. Get you around the NFL. Take a look at games going around in the league. Hopefully some better ones than the one you're watching here. In Baltimore, the Ravens have the lead 21-7 over the Texans. CJ Stroud's first little bit of action, so... Oh boy, 6 for 10, 70 yards. Still is a better day than Kirk Cousins in Indianapolis. The uh, Jaguars, Lawrence, three touchdowns. Has his team up 21 to nothing. Garner Minshew, no touchdown, no completions. And two and a pick in that one. Oh boy. Then we get you over down into Aints territory. Where the Aints are losing 14 to 7. Ryan Tannehill, two touchdowns in that one. Derek Carr with a touchdown and a pick. Uh, Minnesota Vikings. Baker Mayfield from the gun. Gets the snap. Looking. Throwing. It is intercepted. Andrew Boo Jr. His second in the game, and he will waltz into the end zone. Touchdown, Vikings. Something to cheer about. Finally, Andrew Boo Jr. with a pick. And what the kids would call a 1% user Andrew Booth Jr. on Chris Godwin is a match made in heaven. Two interceptions and the Minnesota Vikings are finally on the board as Minnesota Vikings fan line is now showing some life here with a let's go. It is 40 to 7. But uh, the problem is, Andrew Booth, you got to come back on the field. you got to do that again. <laughs> Under centers Mayfield. He's got White in the backfield. It is a give to White. Up and it. Marcus Devin. Oh, my goodness. A run that should have been a loss of four turns into a run of nine and three quarters. Oh, my goodness. Marcus Davenport had him dead to rights. Couldn't finish the tackle. Booze will rain down as another first down goes by way of, or shove rather. And uh, this will set up for a field goal. Kick is away. He missed it! Almost like Greg Little goes down, but he missed it wide left. Almost like Vikings fan line has willed it to be. Missed the kick and he did. So Kirk Cousins got pretty good field position here. And Vita Vea once again. My goodness. Either way, third and ten. Cousins gets the snap. It's a... Okay, I want them tested for boost jet cleats. And there's another pick six. Just to make it 47-7. The lead will be back up to 40 if this is good. And it is. So it's a gain of five. Now Mayfield from the pistol again. Close center on the rise. Gets the snap. Looking. Throwing. Oh, Andrew Booth had an angle. Just couldn't get it. And Daniil Hunter goes down. Daniil Hunter will go down on that play. And oh my goodness. What else is going to happen to the Vikings in this one? Third and five. Mayfield. Gets the throw away. Caught Otten. And that's the only guy he's thrown it to here today right side for the first hit pointer will return soon from the two Mayfield under center give white walks right in Rashad white and this to make it 54 to 7 pending the kick the snap spot kick is away it's good so Mayfield from the gun gets the snap gives it and White will score what else is new 
Left side. This to make it 61 to 7. Kick is away. It's good. Cousins from the gun gets the snap. Gets hung up there. Okay, we'll take that. Weird play, a tipped and a catch for poor Daryl Patterson. Tipped ball and a catch. So the I formation coming out for the Bucks, going for a big lead of 60 points. If this is converted and White will just walk right into the end zone, he'll leap and nobody in the way of Rashad White for his fourth touchdown of the day. And, uh, oh boy. Just to make it a 61 point lead before the Bucks. The snap spot kick. Me, it's good. Because it's from the empty set. We got music playing while the team is on the field. So Minnesota will trot out Greg Joseph for a chance to hang their hat on something. 63 yarder, right hash. Greg Joseph's kick. No good, he missed it. It was short. And music is playing over the loudspeakers here at US Bank Stadium. And, uh, oh boy. Uh, finally. So the music has finally subsided, and uh, Minnesota can get back out there. Second and eight. There's a gift to White. He bounces out right side. And, uh, oh boy, 282. He's going to set the single season. Rushing record in this one against Minnesota. A single game, rather. Rushing record. Harrison Smith will bring down. And Trey Lance fans, you get a little taste here. Trey Lance sent into this one. Gets the snap. And Trey Lance will fumble the ball. His first play in the game. So Greg Joseph's line up for a 57-yarder left hash. Kick is away. And Minnesota Vikings have broke double digits here. Seven minutes left to go in the fourth quarter. Oh boy. Don't give a fuck. 112, 102 rather to 10. Block this kick, please. Left hash, snap spot kick. It's good, 102 to 10. That'll be second and four. Trey Lance from the gun. Gets the snap. Throws. Wide open, JJ, and we get a gritty from those Bucks. Or against the Bucks from Tampa Bay City. So it's not going to matter. And, uh, we avoid a 100 point blowout. So ooh, making it a little bit more feasible at 94. But um, if the kick is good. 102 to 17 will be your final if this is good. Kick is away. Angles in left side. Quiet U.S. Bank Stadium. For some reason, the fans are still here. Oh, boy. Victory formation for Baker Mayfield, who has looked like the predecessor of the Buccaneers, Tom Brady, today. And uh, about 1,000 yards of offense for these Bucks, And uh, no bright spots except for the two picks by Andrew Boot Jr. As the countdown commences. Five, four, three, two, one, L. Let's get you into these player stats. We'll get you out of here as fast as we can so we can get you to next week where it doesn't get any easier as we take on the reigning NFC champs, the Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, Kirk Cousins, 11.4 QB rating. He was 26 to 67. 40% completion percentage. For those of you that did not know how to do math or simply didn't look over here, 246 yards, no touchdowns, 11 picks. He was pulled in the fourth quarter. Uh, three quarters too early if you're 
want my honest opinion. Longest pass of 22. Trey Lance came in with a QB rating of 87.86 for 14, 88 yards and a touchdown. So Trey Lance will be the starter next week if Randy Replay was running the team. 17 carries for Madison. Left uh, giving up so many points, the running game was out of the window. 69 yards, so something nice about this game. Two broken tackles. Kirk Cousins, one for 13. Trey Lance, one for five. CJ, one for three. Justin Jefferson, 14 catches, 170, and a touchdown in this one. The bright spot on the offense, and it wasn't even close. TJ Hawkinson, ACL sprain. He went down seven catches, 55 yards. Cordero Patterson, six catches, 62 yards. KJ, three for 27. Josh Oliver, one for three. He will be in, in an elevated role for the foreseeable future. Now the starter, Josh Oliver. CJ Ham one for four. Alexander Madison one for thirteen. Nobody cares about blocking. If you do, you're stupid. And uh, uh, for all intents and purposes, Minnesota Vikings have a quadruple double. Harrison Smith with eighteen. Jordan Hicks with fifteen. Juwan Williams with twelve. Brian Asamoa with eleven. Juwan Williams left the game with an injury. Lewisine Davenport with eight. Murphy with seven. DJ Wanham with four. Phillips O'Neill. Bradbury who left the game as well. Hmm. Another injury. Andrew Booth with three. Jones, Hawkinson, Hunter with two. Quick math. Two and a half sacks for the Minnesota Vikings. DJ Wanham with one. Hunter, Hicks, and Davenport somehow all split one as well. Two picks by Andrew Booth Jr. One of them was a pick six. One by Asamoa. Two pass deflections. Murphy and Scene. No force fumbles. No block kicks. No safeties. And the aforementioned pick six for your Minnesota Vikings in this big, horrendous, horrific, historic loss. Greg Joseph won for two on field goals. Longest of 57. He did miss from, I do believe that was 63 or 61. Uh, and two for two on extra points. Ryan Wright, seven punts, 330 yards, netting 284. Two of them going inside the 20 and two being a touchback. Kick returns Cordero Patterson, the waste of a second rounder. 12 for 253, longest of 31. And uh, no punts given up by the Minnesota Vikings. The preceding embarrassment was a presentation of the NFL on the SSN. Any rebroadcast, redistribution, or reusage of said broadcast is strictly prohibited without the express ring consent of the NFL, the SSN, or any of its subsidiaries. If you made it this far, well, I commend you. Uh, this is my Randy Replay. I'll see you in just a minute. While the Minnesota Vikings did not make it out of this game unscathed, both below the waist and... Uh, we have two new injuries to report. On top of Deloro, coming back next week, he will be released. Garrett Bradbury is out four weeks with a torn labrum, and Jawan Williams out seven weeks with a broken collarbone. So Minnesota will see an elevated role from, I do believe, Andrew Booth Jr. and then Makai Blackman, rookie corner, who stood out in the preseason. He will be elevated to the starting role and probably play that slot side. So, Juwan Williams, slot corner for the Minnesota Vikings. He is out for damn near half the season. Oh, boy. Garrett Bradbury. Oof. Out for seven as well with that torn labrum. So, Minnesota both has the physical scars and mental scars as well now. So, um, yeah, ACL sprain, not a joke. Hawkinson will be held out of practice this week, and uh, it doesn't get any easier. You play the NFC, uh, defending NFC champs next week in uh, Philadelphia. And uh, just uh, just prepare to bring your rain jacket because it's going to rain down burb shit. And uh, this has been Randy Replay. I will see you in the next one.